Hi and welcome, it's Pip here from QueenPipCards.com Hello, 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 welcome to my Monday, Moody Monday, Pip Me Up video <coughs> Oh, excuse me, this week featuring Heartfelt So that's this stamp set here I hope you're all well, I hope you're having a lovely time And despite the fact it's a little bit grey, the sun is trying to peek through the clouds here So um, I'm hoping that, uh, that we're all sort of heading towards a bit of a better time in terms of... Um, lighting and it not being so dark and miserable etc and we are heading towards the time of year when we think about love and we think about all the people that um you know we want to say hello to and if you're young you want to have all those valentine's day things fl flying through your door um oh hi hello linda afternoon but we also have things that we want to say about love all the way through the year and i actually really like this set I'm not normally a hearts person, just going to put that out there. Um, it's all, it, sometimes it feels a bit kind of, you know, whatever, um, a bit too uh, slushy, shall we say? We don't do slushy in the UK very well, do we? <laughs> However, I do like this. And the reason I like this stamp set is because of two sentiments. This one here, so lucky to have a friend like you, which I actually really like. And this one that says love you lots, because I say that to my husband a lot. And love you lots is something that I've always said to, you know, lots of people. I say it when I say goodbye to my mum and dad. Um, I used to say it to my sister. Or I say it to friends, you know, whatever. So those two are, I think, really good sentiments. I also quite like this, from my heart to yours. I think that's quite a nice um, sentiment to say for an anniversary card or something like that. And then you've just got love. With a comma next to it. I'm not quite sure what the comma is supposed to be for. Um, I think it's part of this. I don't know, actually. It doesn't really seem to go with anything. However, um, I like the little love, even with the little comma. I think it's cute. So I decided that I was going to use this stamp set as part of my um, customer gifts for class. So on Saturday, I had my kickoff event. Uh, for the new catalogue and I decided that well oh hi Sue that we would um, that everybody would get a gift and so this is the gift that they got which is one of the um, hot, lovely red tins foil tins and I decorated the front and inside there were indeed chocolate red hearts which I managed to find and some little red heart tissue paper which I managed to find so I'm going to show you how I did these. I've got a couple of these. Um, and I'm also going to do a couple of other things. I've I received, I, I get crafting magazines sometimes. And this month they had this as the free gift, one of the free gifts. And I thought, well, that's quite nice, isn't it? And it fits quite nicely with the heart theme. So I, I'm going to try and do something with that. And I also want to talk to you about these, which are the new um, cello bags which you could be forgiven for overlooking in the catalogue. But they're really nice, they're food safe, and they've got these lovely starry sort of, well, almost like fireworks all over them, which is really nice. So I thought, let's do some gifty things today. So we're going to need our stamp set first off, and I'm gonna show you the papers. We might change them up a little, do a few different things. Um, we'll just see how we go. So the first thing that we need is obviously the little tins. Now I've pre-filled these because they're fiddly little so-and-so sometimes with my fingers. Um, especially when I'm cold and I am cold today. I need to get my gloves. What have I done with my gloves? Hold on. Oh, Straight away I've forgotten something. But this table is cold and I've even got my little extra heater on and the heating on. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's very windy out there today. It's blowing a gale and I think it's coming straight through the air brick, which is down underneath my feet. OK, so that's a bit more cosy. Um, so, yeah, so these little things, they're, they're, they're not that difficult to fill. I just thought it would be easier if I refilled them. But anyway, this is how they come to start off with. So you get 10 in a pack and you get 10 lids and 10 bases. Now, these are actually not only are they food safe, but you can actually cook in these. So if I'm very brave, I might try that, but I'm not brave enough yet to do that. But apparently, and I've seen them, uh, friends do them online in the States. Oh, they've been whipping up cookie mixtures all over the shop. So um, I will give that a try, but I've gone for the more um, 
a simple option a bit of tissue paper and then some chocolate hearts because you can't really go wrong with a chocolate and b hearts i think especially in a heart shaped container now they would actually take a lot more chocolates than this but i didn't have enough so you could really stuff them and fill them a bit higher than that because actually when the lid goes on so that they're, they're designed so that you can cook and then put frosting or um you know what we would call icing on top of them so that's what they're designed for but i quite like them with chocolates in so that's what we're going to do to start off with then i'm going to take you through some of the other stuff that's in the coordinating pack and I've suddenly realised I need to go and get some more cardstock. Where's my real red cardstock disappeared to? Oh, I have to go and dig some of that out. So these are the hearts that come in the heart doilies. Okay, so you get red ones and pink ones. Pink ones are flirty flamingo, red ones are real red. Okay, and you get half and half. I've used some of these, but if you turn them over, they're white. In fact, we could do that. Let's check, we could change it up. We could have a red heart and then I can make a white scalloped one to go in so let's do that so they come like this so that you can actually you can color them any color you like actually on the back um and then have red on the other side or whatever so i'm going to use i, I used white for these ones i'm going to change it up and we're going to use red there we go that's good and then we need some cardstock which i'm going to use now whisper white and I thought I might actually also add in some of this, which is the lovely satin red ribbon. I didn't put any on those, but I think I might do. We'll see. Or I can use it on the bag, at least. We'll definitely be doing something with the ribbon. So we need some cardstock. And then we need some of the glorious papers, which I showed you before on the when I did my reveal of the catalogue. And they are beautiful. But I really like these ones that you can punch. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Happy, hope you're having a nice day. It's a little bit blustery down here. I was just saying it's very windy. Um, so there are two kinds of hearts that you can punch out from this. There's this kind of heart. And then there is this kind of heart, which is the other one from the set. Oops. Which I've managed to grab, but not any. I haven't got any real red cast. Oh, I have got some. So this is the other kind of... Um, design that also works with the punch so this one works with the smaller punch the non-scalloped edge punch like this okay and then this one this works with the larger punch which is scalloped so i like the fact that we've got two pieces of designer series paper that works with the punches that goes with it but we've got more coming so i'm going to give you a bit of a sneak peek Okay, next month oops, we have coming this. And this is um, Please Just Punch Designer Series Paper, which is coming out. Um, is it blustery there as well, Jenny? Yeah, I know, it's really windy. Um, this is coming out next month. Um, it is a new paper that will be coming out as part of a new release called Coordination Product Release which doesn't sound very sexy but it means that the papers coordinate with stuff that we've got already so i just want to show you these i know somebody who's going to go mad for these because they're all rainbow but look at that look at that so you can have hearts in any color that you fancy and they all punch out with the punch isn't that great and then of course if you've been if you've been watching that punches with the tulip that punches with the um the little blossom punch that's in celebration that's with the hearts and of course this one is with the umbrellas so this is a great set of paper you can't get it now unless you join my team if you join my team you can add that in you just need to contact me for the number and you'll be able to put that in as part of your starter kit uh, but that's why i really like the fact that's that stamping up of done so much more with papers to make them match the other products that we have i think it's a fantastic idea it's a great thing that they're doing um, and it's very helpful when you're trying to do projects to know that you have not just stamping projects but also punching and things that you can do with paper because you know some people don't 
aren't as confident with their stamping maybe as others so having something that you can punch and make it look beautiful is useful so you just line up your heart she says there we go like that punch that out goes through beautifully like butter gorgeous uh, and then i'm going to put a white am i going to put a white one behind or can i get some real red i must have some real red here somewhere Oh, I had some real red here, but I think it's all... Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I knew I had a piece of real red somewhere. Here we go. Oh, no, but I don't want real red now because we've got red there. <gasps> it's going to have to be Flirty Flamingo or it's going to have to be Whisper White. Let's go Whisper White because I've got it here and we can do that. Let's do that. And we'll see what it looks like. If it looks really bad, we'll just change the heart because we can do that. <laughs> we have the technology. So then that would go on that. That doesn't look bad, does it? And then that would go on there. And if we put some ribbon in, I think that will look good. OK, so that's that. And then what we then what I did was I did some really I'm just going to do a few more of those because I, I just want to. No, wrong punch, wrong punch, but get the right punch. <laughs> so we're just going to get the. So these are the heartfelt um, punches. That go with the. Hi, Suzanne. That go with the. Um, the sweet and I just I just think it's great and of course they go with the stamps as well so we'll do a couple of those because we're gonna we're going to be doing some more of these thought I'd do a couple while I was here it's always good to have spares that way I can give them away as gifts and I like doing that there we go all right so then what I did then was clear my paper away we might need a bit more of that for the for the other thing that we're going to do we haven't decided how i'm going to decorate the the other one yet but we'll see we'll get there all right so pop that in there like right, so i love my little album covers that's all right suzanne don't matter you missed the start you can always catch up follow along later whatever do not panic. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm making customer gifts. Well, I, these were my customer gifts on Saturday. So um, we're now going to make a slightly different one. And we're going to start start at the beginning. So I would take the lid off. It's easier if you take the lid off. Okay. And then I use my snail. Because you don't want to put wet glue on to that. So I used my trusty snail and just put some glue in the centre and then line up your heart where you want it to go, Oops. which is easier said than done on camera. There we go. Roughly like that. Give it a bit of a rub. That's now stuck. And then we just start layering up the other bits. Now, I layered that straight onto there before, but I'm going to give it a bit of an extra lift. And I'm going to put a bit of a swizzy of a, a swizzy of ribbon in, I think, in between, because I think that lifts that colour then. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I thought it would. So we'll just chop that end off, chop that end to make it look pretty. And then a bit more snail straight onto your cardstock fold your ribbon in half and then just lay it down either at a jaunty angle or straight it's up to you and then I'm going to pop on some dimensionals now this isn't going through the post so we don't have to be quite so worried about soggy middles but I do want to make sure that that ribbon sticks so I am popping one in the middle there just to make sure that that sticks the ribbon down a bit on top if you see what I mean always good to add a bit of extra glue at stickage there we go and it doesn't matter if it if it bows slightly because it's 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 the top of a little pot then we're going to pop this down straight onto the backing the other heart oops oh look, I've got two for there I've got two for one don't want that come back come back come back there we go. Right. So yes, they liked they liked these presents on 
Saturday, which was good. I also did them as my team swaps. And my team's always very appreciative when they get chocolate for their team swaps. <laughs> as am I, if I get chocolate for, my, for any swaps. Okay, so then the last bit that we're going to be adding to that. Hey Jan, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Is we're going to be just doing some little stamping uh, with the little love. Now you could hand cut out a heart, you could do this is going to get noisy, sorry, bear with. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we could um you know do all kinds of fancy stuff, but I just like simple because that's me, you know me. Simple is as simple does. So bring your ink pad in, stamp, stamp, stamp. Very simple. Okay. And then snips. <laughs> Just snips. Try not to do them all at once because you'll never get them straight if you do them all at once because they're all different. I stamp them all different. Unless you stamp them with a stamparatus, in which case then you could probably cut them on your little trimmer. But um, I'm just going to do these by hand. And actually I sort of make it look obvious that they're not supposed to be straight and then that way it doesn't matter <laughs> that they're not straight. Does that make sense? So um, chop, chop. Everyone panics when it's hand cutting, but actually it's it's not as hard as it looks, especially if you're not worried about it being straight. I'm just going to do a few of those. Anyway, I've done some more of those beforehand in good old Blue Peter style-y, so we don't need all of those. So I'm just going to finish off. I might do a pink one next. Can we do a pink one? Let's do a pink one with this. There we go. So, snail. And then take your lid off, pop these down. I think these are great value for money, especially the fact that you can cook in them. I know that lots of crafters are also bakers. And so, you know, for you guys, that's just fantastic, isn't it? That you can bake in them as well as just decorate them and hand out. Fantastic for school fairs, raising money for schools over the Valentine's Day period, because we know that happens. So you could make these as cupcakes to sell and they could give to their, you know, loved one on the day. Teacher's gifts. Uh, we don't do that quite so much though, do we here? Teacher's gifts for Valentine's Day. I don't know, maybe we're getting more and more like that. I don't know. Um, not having kids in school, I do not know. But I would imagine that some of the American... Uh, elements are sneaking in because people like presents basically don't they <laughs> that's why hey louise nice to see you so um yeah you never know do you whether whether things are going to take off in the uk or not really it's one of those funny things all right pop that on there Doo -doo -doo, like that there we go now as I said, I did have some I did earlier. Let's see where I can find those. Of course, now I can't find. Oh, there we go. Right. So I just got these already pre-stickered up. So I use the minis for these because they fit better. And I just pop the love on sort of crookedly to one side. It doesn't have to be spot on. Oops. In fact it looks better if it's not central i think if it was central it looks a bit weird and it, it makes it more obvious that you're not straight it's a bit big Got that turn a bit. There, we go. there we go so that's our other two that we've done so now we've got two that look like this and two that look like this these are a little bit jazzed up aren't they really I don't know I didn't think of doing that in the first place. They're all very snazzy. Um, but I liked the red. I do like the red hearts. I think that looks good. So that's some really quick and easy. And I'm, as I said, I did 
20 of these something like that for the weekend um and i've just done another two now really fast really simple and then all you have to do is pop in some chocolates and you're done so um yeah i was saying earlier louise i was really cold i had to go and get my mitts because my hands were really cold <laughs> so um so yes anyway so that's those and i've got a couple left over which i can use for something else which is handy always good and then i've got this um i've got this wooden element that i want to use i definitely want to do something with that i think i might go with my red for this one now i don't know whether this needs to be it is blinking cold for sure that is true i don't know whether it needs to be a scallop on a scallop i think it might need to be for the size oh that's pretty good isn't it that's not bad i mean it's a slightly different shape but i don't think that matters so yes yeah, so as i say i just got this free from a magazine so i thought well i might as well do something with it um and i think it would look good if we if we layered that up just pretty much the same like as we did with those i don't think we need to do anything different should we go pink underneath or pink no i think white for this one so we go white for this one managed to just bend up a couple of my thingies there we go white red love and we could maybe put a little bow on this you know me i haven't done bows for a while it's always always good to do a little bow see how that looks this is lovely satin ribbon it just it does um tie a good bow what do we think too big maybe hold on let's just bring it down a little a smidge there we go yeah we could put a bow on the top of it mm, i don't know yeah possibly i might chop that and just see it would need to be a bit smaller definitely a bit smaller in the old tails let's do that there we go yeah so i can see about that possibly that's a possibility um the other thing is that you could also just um pick out some of the the flowers here in red using your uh, right marker so that's also possible but i think i'm going to leave mine blank i just want to double check whether it looks better no it definitely looks better on red so we'll keep with that um i've also got some white ribbon here i've, I've brought out some of the the seam binding the crinkle seam binding this also makes a beautiful uh, this also makes a beautiful bow which is quite floppy so this one might be a better bow to go with it so i'll do one of each and we can then decide you can start getting your votes in whether you think white or red i think this one's i think this one's a bit less overpowering on it maybe i don't know don't know tell me your thoughts ladies and gents do we go white do we go red and i'll make this one there we go. now you could post these obviously if you wanted to uh, it would be a small parcel to post them just to let you know uh, just because of the size i think i'm going to just start assembling this while you're all thinking about whether it should be red or white and if nobody comes up with an idea, I'm going to go myself. Because <laughs> I can. <laughs> but there's plenty of you out there, so get your votes in. Apparently you can do a poll while you're doing a Facebook Live. I've never actually worked out how you do that, but there you go. Apparently it is, it is possible. Now, we're going to dimension all this up. That's because the thing I like about these boxes is that you've got height so you can, you know, this is quite a deep uh, plastic so you can um, you can go really high with your layering which is nice I think I like sometimes I like to go a little mad with my layering there we go so that can go up there now this one we're going to have to glue and I would use glue dots because um 
Jan says she likes the white. Good. Excellent. Keep them coming. We'll go with the majority. And if that's you alone, Jan, then we'll go white. Uh, I like using glue dots on wooden elements because I find that they stick better. And they're not messy. You just have to position them carefully so you can't actually see the glue dots. But if you move it around a bit, you can generally do that. That's about, yeah, maybe one more in that flower in the middle. Okay, so this won't be layered, obviously, because it's glue dotted. But I think it brings its own layering to the party. There we go. And that goes on there quite nicely, being wooden and lifted. And then what we have, which I have in my little drawer here, are some of these gorgeous faceted gems, which are, I'm going to say this, they... they spring themselves out of this little packet if you're not careful okay so just be careful how you go with this because they can fly up at you um i managed to tip the whole lot of it out on a video while i was doing that the other day uh but you could go with some really quite large gems you know you've got quite big ones in here i could pop some of those on the top of these flowers and they would work quite nicely oh, i quite like that actually and then we've got smaller ones as well. So we've got large, which is about the, probably large is even too big for this though, to be fair. We probably need a medium. Have we got a medium? Come on, turn over. You sort of need both sides of your take your pick tool. One to flick it over and one to pick it up. There we go. Oh yeah, see they're nice. I like them. I like the medium size ones, I think best we we'll put two medium like that and we need a third don't we because we always do things in threes so i might put one at the end of hmm, maybe the end of love might need one i think but we'll do a little one for that just at the end of love like that so come on unstick for a minute just so i can see what it looks like i think that looks okay I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Give me some thumbs up or something if you can see that. But see, I've just put those little gems on there. And they're very sparkly if I can get them in the light. See, they sparkle quite nicely. So I think that will work. Now, the what? put your lid on straight away. Put the lid on straight away. Uh, what I found works for this, oh, good, thumbs up. We like that, is... If you put a dot of, oh, this is coming out too fast. Slow down, thank you. Um, a dot of glue, and I mean a little, oops, that's too much. A tiny dot of glue. Oh, my glue's doing funny things today. It's the cold. Right, let's take one of these. So take a dot of glue where you want it to go. And then leave it for a bit. Oh, I'm getting lots of thumbs, thank you. So just leave it. You'll be tempted to put your gem down way too fast. Don't do that. Um, because the um, the glue needs to kind of go off a little bit. In the sense that it needs to start drying a little bit. Once it's started drying, then you can act with it. So we're just going to leave that there for a second. Um, while I take you through, I think I've covered pretty much everything that's in this suite. But we'll just double check in case I've missed something. I don't think so though. Here we go. Yeah, so we've got the lovely papers. So it's called the From My Heart Suite. And you can buy everything if you wanted to with just one number. All of it. So if you wanted the stamps, the two punches, the ribbon, the tins, the doilies, the faceted dots and the papers. 81.75. That's pretty good. Add a bit of cardstock in and some dimensionals and you could get to 90. And then you get two free celebration items, which is fantastic. Um, and I, I really like... I really like this suite, which is, I really didn't think I would. Um, I thought, oh, hearts. But when I started looking at it, I thought, hmm, actually, that's really good. I really like some of those sentiments. I really like some of those things. So we, the next thing we're going to do while we let the glue dry is we're going to do some stuff with some stamping. And we're going to 
make a little tag to go on our little um what are they called cello bags they're called printed gusseted cellophane bags and these are from the birthday bonanza and if i just go to the back here i can doesn't does it tell me where they're actually from no oh yes page 33 i love this section at the back it's great yes cocktail stick is always good my one of my customers gave me these they're little makeup brushy things i don't know so i don't do makeup enough to know but apparently they're makeup brushy things um and they're great for picking up glue so page 33 is where you get these cellophane bags and they are lovely they're three inches by nine inches so 22.9 so nearly 23 centimeters by 7.6 um and you get 25 which is cool and they're food safe so yeah 25 in a packet so that's good right i think that's probably dried enough now so let's just finish this off where's my take you pick here we go so we'll put this one on this one and now it sticks which is good that one on that one lovely and then this one on this one there we go so that's how you attach those and then Jan said white and I think I agree with her I think the white sets that off nicely don't know whether to do it up there though or to do it actually on the because hmm. I don't want to hide that you know what we've just put on don't want to do that do we so hmm. yeah I still think there I think there we think there we can, we can make it work so glue dot straight on the back of the ribbon and if it's a bit big which in this case it is because i've tied such a tiny bow just roll it in behind underneath and that allows you to then glue with a bit more accuracy oh yeah see that's okay isn't it i think that looks nice so we've got a little white bow on our little wooden heart which sits on our nice red heart and our white doily and that just gives you a completely different completely different look doesn't it to that and yet really it's got the same elements apart from the wooden topper which i picked up free in a magazine <laughs> so that's great so there we go so that's now five oh they're all stacking up now that's good five of those and then we'll finish off as i say with um just a little bit of stamping so we're going to do this and we're going to do this no not that one this one <laughs> can you tell i've used that quite a lot i haven't used the arrow very much but there's some beautiful stuff done with smoky slate um and the red so i do like the arrow maybe we'll put some of the arrows on the tag who knows i need to get my scallop tag wherever he is just standing up here for a second oh what have i done with my scallop tag oh and maybe i've put it back over in the corner hold on a second bear with me sing amongst yourselves Done. And I've dropped your dimensions. I'd have been looking for them in a minute. Right, here we go. Here's my tag. So tags are very easy. Have I got any red left? Yes, here we go. It's a card base, but it'll do. That's fine. So tags are easy. You need um, basically just under, well, it says two inches, but I always find it's just under two inches just under two inches so about five centimeters works really nicely and then this one slots straight into your tag like so there we go and that is the easiest way of making a tag ever so quick and easy love it and then if you want to make it just a little bit more zhuzhy um this is what I do to the ends of my tags, she says, as she drops her another lot of dimensionals. Uh, I just nip off the corner with my little half inch circle. And it just adds a little something. 
not a lot just a little something um just to make the end end of your tag not quite so um solid i guess that's the word i'm looking for solid now does that fit on there yes it does good because i've got all my other big blocks lined up with other stuff right so we will do hopefully the heart's going to fit in there Oof, that might be a bit tight mm, should be all right i've been busy crafting today i see all my stuff's all my i'm gonna have to get a block i'm gonna have to move something off the block i've been busy working and designing other stuff so we'll just leave that over there for a minute so let's move this around let's put our wibbly wobbly arrow and because it's wibbly wobbly the best thing to do is just let it sit on the table and then pick it up like that and then that helps and then we can put our heart again wibbly wobbly heart just sit it down pick it up and then our sentiment there we go right so what i wanted to do and i've learned my lesson from last week and i'm going to blind you all with a piece of grid paper i'm sorry I'll, I'll fold it over so it's not so mad not so much there we go everybody's all work back in the swing of work i think because you're all very quiet so you must have lots of stuff to do <laughs> not not be chatting on here so much so i'm going to start off here add some like so we're never going to get a whole arrow on here because it's too small but i figure we can get sort of arrow shapes so that we get the idea there we, go. we can just stick another little arrow there so it all follows on and if you're not confident doing this by hand then this is where the stamparatus would come in nicely and you could definitely do do that excellent that's all right i think probably a bit too many arrows down this side i should have moved them around a bit so i could have had a bit of a chevron coming in there but that's all right i'm okay we can survive okay so what i really wanted to show you as well was how this all fits together i need another piece of whisper white now let's go with some flirty flamingo hey carol nice to see you right we're doing gift packaging for valentine's and we were just i was just saying i wasn't sure whether we gave teachers gifts at valentine's day or not and i don't know you have grandkids do you do you know if they give teacher gifts for Valentine's Day? I wasn't sure. So maybe you can help us out. And these words are brilliant because they fit in perfectly. Oops, she says, bring it up so you can see it. Just inside. So that's flirty flamingo for the outside heart and real red for the inside heart. We're going to punch that out. And that punches out with the small one and again i love it because you can just line the dots up so it's really easy to get that perfectly lined and then just punch that out look at that Isn't that great and then let's go with some more paper i want to see i'm going to do this paper so I haven't used this paper yet and rather than actually punching out a shape I just want to punch out some pretty oh we could do that side as well but this side's got this the stuff on it so mind you you're not going to see that very much are you mm. we'll see we can always turn it over can't we that's the great stuff about having double-sided paper so whoops Oh, everything's falling off the table <laughs> don't panic it's all good 
So if that's on there, hmm, I don't know, what do you think? Does that show up enough with the little hearts? Is it obvious that they're little hearts? I'm not sure that they are obvious. Or shall we switch it over and make it pink? I think that shows up better. Thoughts? I think that shows up better. And then we will go with, I think definitely the red. I think the red. We can tie the, we've got to tie the cellophane bag. So then we're going to get the cellophane bag. Now, you can put paper in this and um, make it stand up or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop in a little bit of tissue paper at the bottom. And if you can't get your eye down there, your hand down there, you can just stick, use your trusty take your pick tool. Pink says Linda. Yes, I agree, Linda. I think pink is best. Two. And then sling in your chocolates. And they help to hold that down. You need to just sling in all the chocolates. This is a very generous, I mean obviously you could use whatever you wanted to, you could stick Haribo in it or anything, or you could put a teddy bear in it, or you could put anything you like in it. I'm going to just put a few hearts to see if I can turn those around so they look a bit better, rather than going in back to front. What is it with chocolates? They always end up so that you've got the back to front showing. There we go. And then we're going to tie that up. That doesn't look very generous, does it? But it's actually got loads of chocolate in there, it's really, really heavy. So we're going to tie that. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie that there. Tie it in a double knot so it keeps them nice and safe. And then I like these lovely long tresses, like so. So we're going to go with pink. We like that. You could always um, pop a little bit of uh, Whisper white cardstock on the back if you wanted for something to write on but um, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now pop on some dimensionals and then we can double layer this because it's a tag so it's not going to it's not going to go anywhere and um, if you want if you were wondering this was also um, ten and a half centimeters deep to start off with so it's two inches, two, five centimetres by ten and a half centimetres, uh, or two inches by about, what's that, four inches, I think, three, three or four inches, something like that. There we go. It's, it's half a card width, basically, so for the guys in the States, yeah, that would be about four and a quarter, wouldn't it, something like that. There we go, so we've got that. We're going to go with our little embellishments again, because I just, I like these. I think they're great. We'll see how the glue's going. Oh yeah, that's bubbling again. I don't know what I think it oh and maybe because I've had the heater on. <laughs> uh, yes, maybe that's the thing. So we'll pop one up there. I'll pop one over here. I'm gonna go a bit mad with these, so don't don't fret. Okay. Uh, pop one up there. Oops, that'll have to be a big one. And then one down there. As long as it's an odd number, five is good. That works well. There we go. So now we need to decide which ones we want. This is always the exciting bit. Choosing your colours. I quite like these pinks. So I think I'm going to put a large pink one on. And then maybe a large white one. Hey, Paula. How are you? Your packet is in the post. It went out on Saturday, just or Friday. Friday or Saturday, just to let you know. Thank you very much. That's that. And then we'll do another little, we'll do a red one. There we go. And we'll do another little pink one. There we go. Right, I think that kind of, that gives us our five. So we'll do a big pink one up here. Now we've let that dry a little bit. And a big white one down here. And then we'll go red. Ooh. <laughs> red the right way up, Pip. Might help. Oh, now see that's sticky. I'm going to have to wash that one. 
let's get another red one out don't stick them on the wrong way around red there we go <laughs> and then a white or a pink if it's a pink actually that's good we'll do another pink here hmm, maybe i should have done a white actually let's do a white down here that's a nice little white one there we go and even though they don't look they, they do in person it looks different if you see what i mean and they're different sizes as well so that's good so can you see those really sparkling and shining in the light yeah i think so they're very sparkly i'll pop that one back in there do that so i'm going to use some whisper white seam binding the other ribbon this one's from the poppy suite and it's lovely because it's really soft so we'll just take a strip out and oh it arrived this morning oh brilliant Oh, hi, Anna. Oh, you like my sleeves? Yeah, they're gloves, actually. So they're just like half gloves. They're great. I bought them in Germany at the Christmas markets when we were over there in November for on stage. And they're fantastic. I love them. Keep my hands from nice and toasty on a cold desk. <laughs> right, there we go. So we're just going to pop those together like that. And then I'm going to, this is the tricky bit. You're going to sort of put it one on either side one on either side of your red ribbon okay one top one bottom and then you're going to tie a bow with your red ribbon so you need to get your you need to get your bow sort of tied and then before you tighten it pull it up and then tighten it and then you can maneuver afterwards so that you've got a nice bow not bad and then i'm going to wrap the white ribbon around the back bring it round to the front tie it so i'm now tying a bow on top of a bow which sounds weird i know but it works don't tie it so tight that you can't move your move it pip a bit less tight thank you there we go there we go i hope it arrived safely paula it was all okay I thought it, it was quite a good little, I love the pom-poms, just saying, they're great. There we go. So now we sort of have a double bow, but this one is so soft and floppy. And then you just chop this bit off. And then the red is a little bit more strong. There we go. And we can, you can just fiddle with it until you're happy. So now you have some heart chocolates in a little bag all wrapped up ready to go with a lovely tag on top that says love you lots and that's sort of i think i'd probably fill it a little bit fuller but that was all i had left so there you go but it's it's cute don't you think it's nice the colors work well together they go nicely with other things from other um from other suites which is good like the like the seam binding here that kind of matches well together and if you don't want it over the top, you could just do it as a knot and tie it underneath. And then we've done all of these. Oh, that's all right. You're very welcome, Paula. Um, that's good. And then we did all of these as our different varieties of things. Look at that. Aren't they great? <laughs> so I'm now set to sell all of those at a Christmas, at a Christmas, at a, at a, a ladies' pamper night that I'm doing. So that's good. There we go. So, um, yeah. They'll be good fun to have and, and sell off. I'm sure people would like to, to get some of those for their loved ones. So there you go. That's today's little moody pick-me-up video. I hope that uh, your Monday is not too moody and that you've enjoyed a little bit of crafting with me. Thank you for crafting along or being with me at the same time and watching along with me and giving me tips and agreeing what colours and things you like best i always like chatting with you guys on a monday it picks it picks me up as well for the week so thank you very much for that have a great week um and if you want any details if you're a customer of mine and you want any details of all of this stuff i will pop it into the description you can go and have a look on my shop so yes heartfelt uh, from the heart suite is is what it's called and i think it is delicious so uh, thanks for watching thanks ever so much for being here today and i will catch you again same time same place next week cheers bye for now take care